it been this time i mean it has been a long time hasn't it let's be honest uh back again with another helix video uh if you are new here then hit the subscribe button uh leave a comment say that you are glad that you passed through just do that uh this is a follow-up video to one that i've done way back when all about putting certain things in your presets to kind of make the helix patch sound huge uh and i do get a lot of questions as to why'd you put the kinky boost there why'd you put the tile there why'd you put the retro reel there why 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 so i just thought i would quickly jump on and do it all in under less than five minutes to show you why i do it and what works for me so uh should we dive in see what's going on all right so uh the amp is the rev gen red just kind of generic I've not really done much to it took the hum and the ripple off which i always do turn the aggression up the reason that i turn the aggression up is then i don't have to use as, as much drive uh it's rare that i'll put a you know a thing uh drive pedal in between uh, in front of it sorry uh what i tend to do then is pick a decent cab which the 4x12 moon t75 that's my favorite cab and then put the kinky boost in between and obviously some of the youtube experts will tell me me putting a dry pedal in front of the middle without it it sounds like this it's a little bit flat so if i put the kinky boost on You can hear it kick into life. And the kinky boost is just set with zero drive, boost is on and the bright is on. So I'll turn that off. Next to that as well, one of the things I've started doing is putting the dynamic ambience in between the amp and cab as well. This is a very, very minor thing but it's i just like it there's no other reason i just like it so this without again it's quiet better if you're listening with headphones on let me turn it on okay so we'll put them two on One of the things as well, uh, and this is not something that I've invented, this has been around for a long time, uh, Tube Screamer at the very front, gain off, tone halfway, just above halfway, the magic sweet spot, and then the level all the way up, that then will give you this. Turn that one off for now. Uh, Trinity Chorus. Again, I tend to run this like really, really slow. It's not like a big washy 80s kind of vibe. Uh, I just do it to add a little bit of flavor, which is French for flavor. You just hear it lifting up slightly. very minute next to that one of the other things i put in is the ping pong delay uh pretty self-explanatory it's on a real real quick and that'll just stay on all the time Another one that you can put on all the time as well and it doesn't kind of get in the way is the dual delay. We can do that. And 
then after that is the retro reel. Retro wheels, a uh, retro reel is a little bit of a weird one. <laughs> Kind of gives you a bit of a more of a kind of a honkyish kind of tone, uh, and it dials out some of the crappiness, I think. That's more of a taste thing. If you know, if there's something that's not quite right, so the retro reel on there, and the big one, the one that I asked to get asked about all of the time, is the tile verb. Um, because some people go, eh, it's not stereo, it's a man, it's not, this is a, it's a legacy effect, it, this one is in stereo, so. <sighs> Here we go. So if we combine all of these things, to, or some of these things together, we'll put the ping pong on, uh, we'll put the tube screamer on, uh, maybe the retro reel. That then gives us a massive tone. Okay, so finally, uh, well, second to finally, is the dual pitch. Set it like this. Kind of a pog sound. That's more for your solos. And then we'll quickly talk about IRs because we're seven minutes in and some people may have gone to sleep. So this is the only IR that I own and use. It's by Own Hammer. It's the 4x12 Recto V60 16007. Did you get all that? Uh, it's the only one that I've ever used and I don't really use it at all now because of the, the moon cap. So I will show you the difference between the moon and the IR, which is... <laughs> That's the IR, there, that's the stock cab. And then this is the IR, it gets louder. And then we'll go back to stock cab. So you could use an IR if you wanted to. And I prefer, I just prefer the stock cab now. So if I turn all of these things off again, and go back to our base tone of what it, what it is, just the amp. Pretty uninspiring if you ask me. Kinky Boost makes all the difference. Tile on the end is, that's the key to it. All right, as always, you can download this patch completely for free of charge. I ask for nothing in return, even though there is a buy me a coffee link, which I never mention ever, except I just did. Uh, and we'll just keep firing some more content at you now. I've got a bit more free time on my hands. I'm not as busy anymore. Take it easy. See you on the next one. Ba -do!